G'day, my name is Jordan, and this is going to be my final review of the Sol Invictus Mercury. Um, I've had it for one year now, um, and I'm probably going to sell it. I um, haven't started it up in about a week, so this could be interesting. Let's start her up. We've got fuel, that's nice. Let's put the choke on. <coughs> Sticker in neutral. Check the lights are on. The light still works. That's nice. Didn't want to start up at first, but here we go. Just to start off, I've really loved owning this bike. Um, I really like the way it looks, and I've really enjoyed kind of learning to ride. But uh, yeah, it has it has some downsides. So I guess just to start off. First, when I bought the bike, it it came with these carbon bars, so it was like kind of dropped. These nice mirrors and adjustable handlebars. Um, the mirrors are a bit small, but they look good. But I guess if you want to be safe, it's probably best to get them bigger. I like how they look. Whatever. Clubman bars, really like, really like this kind of angle. A little bit more forward than like kind of upright, but I like that. And the adjustable levers. This one's been fantastic. Um, the clutch one though, if you put it like up, the vibration of like travel just puts it down and it like moves it to zero. So you might as well, like this one's kind of pointless. It's, you gotta adjust it with this. This bad boy and this bad boy. Um, otherwise it's kind of pointless. The clutch cable as well, when I first got it, I don't know if you can see the lube on it, but um, like there kind of thing. Um, the clutch cable frayed itself by kind of scratching on these handlebars, so I guess the, the, whatever brand this adjustable lever is, don't get it. It's not that fantastic. Um, the paint on the exhaust is kind of shit, so get a chrome exhaust if you can. It's started to rust here a little bit on the rotor as well. That's another look at the paint. It's pretty shit. What can you do? When I bought the bike, both of the wheels were that color, were black, and then this one has faded to like a kind of bronze color. That's a bit weird. Anyways, let's get going. It's probably warm enough now. Turn the choke off. Alrighty, so I did my L's on this bad boy. It was great fun. Really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it was a really nice light bike. Easy to maneuver. Easy to learn on. Um, so nothing, nothing to fault there. Pretty simple bike. There's no ABS, so it's not that safe. Um, I've never dropped it, which is nice. So, yeah, I'm just trying to get the good things out of the way, I guess. Um, let's just turn here, so I don't die, and we're all good. She's running fine after a week of not running her, which is nice. But, um, yeah, so, when I got it, uh, the clutch gave me a whole bunch of trouble because of the, the cable fraying, so that was shit. Um, and I got it around this time, so it was a little bit cold, but not too bad. And like the carburetor is fine. Um, it is carbureted, so it's pretty shit in winter, so it's not too bad. It's air cooled, so in the summer, it's uh, it's not the best. I never had any problems with it overheating. Oh well, it's not a cop nut. Um, but like you can feel it kind of on the edge sometimes, so that's not very nice. Um, the electrics of this bike are probably some of the shittest I've ever seen in my life. There are a number of times where, say, I'd go over a bump, travelling at like 90, and something would come loose in the headlight, 
and all the electrics would be fine, like everything would be going, turning on just fine. It was like something was not letting the bike start. So, like, none of the lights would come on, no matter how much you charge it or whatever. And then Adrian from Sol and Vickers was like, oh, just um, open the light and unplug everything and then plug it back in. And I was like, what the hell? But yeah, sometimes this happens. So it's, it's a known error and it's not really fixed. Um, if there was something that happened a few times, then get up the hill. The bike doesn't do too well up hills. It's not too bad, but it's not great. Um, yeah, anyways, but that's an easy fix. You just take the light off, unplug everything, plug it again. After that, everything is working, lights are fine. Don't know what went on. The bike wouldn't start. Lights are fine, like enough charge in the battery. I was told, oh, buy a new battery, it's probably your battery shit. Replace the battery, that cost 65 bucks. Um, nothing's wrong with the battery. Like, all right, bike still won't start. Turns out, these things here, like the little bit metal bits here, have rusted, and um, they just had to play, replace these two little metal strips about this big, and that was stopping my bike from starting. So this bike, if you keep this, it pretty much tells the bike those little strips that once you depress the clutch, so like once that is in, it tells the bike, oh, the clutch, the clutch is in. Um, so that's why my bike wouldn't start. I'm gonna let this. <laughs> That's my friend's mum. Um, sorry. Yeah, so that was that was broken. Yes, yeah, so that was shit. So I bought a new battery, and meanwhile that was just rusted. Um, I spoke to them about it. They're like, "Yeah, you can't really store this bike outside." So I saw the bike outside, like in the driveway, but outside, because I don't really have anywhere undercover to store it. Um, it turns out that's not appropriate for the bike, and that's pretty shit. You know? Like, a bike should be able to be stored outside. I understand <coughs> that it might not be that great if it is, but you know, it's pretty normal to want to store something that goes outside, outside. Anyway, other issues. The bike is not the best at going over 90 so if you want to go over 90 don't get this bike that being said the speed limit for learners and red peas is 90 it doesn't matter too much oh come on go i weigh about 70 kilo so i'm not that heavy if i had a passenger on here it would probably be Too much weight for this 250cc motor. Um, but what can you do? It does its best with what it's given. I'd love to try the, the Nemesis, which is the, the four, 400 version of this bike. Um, more of a scrambler than a cafe racer. But yeah, like I've absolutely loved this bike as a learner bike. Um, had it for a year now though, and I'm ready to sell it. Um, I. 100% recommend this bike for beginners and if you're just starting out. But if you're not kind of technical, so like I've had to change the spark plug and all that kind of jazz, um, and you can't kind of troubleshoot, then this bike's probably not for you because there are things that will go wrong. Little things, easy to solve things. But um, because they're not very popular, well there's, they are popular but they're not very, there's not many of them. So there's not much information on YouTube, there's not much information um, on the internet. Um, like for example, it was pretty hard to find an oil filter for some reason for me, but I figured it out because it's modeled off another Chinese bike. If you're not kind of a little bit technically minded, it's not hard, then I, I wouldn't get this bike. Um, but yeah, it's a really light, easy to ride bike. I've absolutely loved it. 
and like I did try out a few other bikes like I tried out the Ninja 300 I tried out the um, the freaking the 125 that they give you at the Honda um, the CB125E and that thing is a piece of rubbish um, like even this bike has disc brakes at least front and back that being said the like back the rear brake on this bike is like mashing a potato and nothing really happens um, so what can you do about that still better than the disc brake I mean the drum brake it does have a kind of steering lock without having to change a key, key which is really nice um, but yeah like stuff like so when I put this tube on you see how it's kind of like cracking there it was cracking there so I had to replace that which means I had to kind of like redo the brake fluid and everything um, I got it serviced they didn't put more brake fluid in here even though it's low um, they are more than happy though at Sol Invictus to if you call them up they will help you with anything that was probably one of my favorite things about it they have this Facebook group everyone's like what's wrong my bike did this I don't know what's going on um, and they're like happy to help you out bring it in or like help you on Facebook number of little things went wrong but they were easy fixes and the fellas at Solon Victus were extremely helpful uh, especially Adrian he knows what he's doing um, I couldn't recommend them in terms of service more um, however it's not their fault they're selling kind of shitty bikes um, but they do the best with what they, they've got if I was to do it again I probably would consider um, using this bike, buying this bike again, just for learning. But uh, yeah, it's not bad. Um, could be worse, could be better. The wheels that it comes with are actually not not that bad. Chain stretches out pretty fast, so you got to look at that very often. Anyways, if you have any questions about this bad boy, let me know. If you're also looking to buy one of these bad boys, let me know. I'm moving states anyway, so I don't want to bother about screwing around with the transferring registration across state lines because I don't really have time for that I've got shit to do um, but yeah feel free to let me know give me a ring don't give me a ring actually leave a comment on this YouTube video or a private message or I don't know how that works um, even feel free to shoot me an email just notice this what the hell is this oh that's nice that's coming undone cool anyways Oh, it's just a screw. Can we sort that out? No, we cannot. Yeah, so that's my review of a year of owning the Mercury 250 Cafe Racer by Sol Invictus. Not the Brav one, apparently there's a difference, but I don't know what it is. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to help you out. See you later.